What's up guys and welcome to my playthrough. I'm Young Obi and this is Game of Thrones. The Telltale Game. <laughs> this is actually the first uh, Telltale game I've ever played. I've seen people play the first one. I think I've said that before already. Or whatever. <laughs> but I've never actually played it. And I've been staying away from the second season of The Walking Dead. Just so like I don't see any spoilers. But... I bought them all. <laughs> I figured I'd do them. I figured I'd wait on The Walking Dead's game and just do the Game of Thrones and tell or the Tales of Borderlands. <laughs> Fuck. Off to a rough start. Let's just get this going already. <laughs> Hell yeah. by the women. You'd think he'd done it himself the way he tells it. <laughs> Old Forrester's sword won't clean itself, you know. So what is this? Towards the end of season two? Or se during season three? Make sure it's spotless this time. Old Forrester nope. won't be happy with blood and brains all over it. Go on. It's only blood. There we go. Now that is a proper sword. I'll have one like it myself someday. You? I'll never have a sword like that. I say that as a friend. <laughs> and if we're being honest, you are just a squire. Why not? You don't give swords like that to pig farmers. I had Andy, you know. <laughs> Andy what? Capturing him. He was nowhere near the Kingslayer at the Whispering Wood. He was so drunk, he barely made it out of his tent. Next, he'll tell us he caught Tyrion, too. <laughs> so what really happened? Someone caught him, I suppose. That's skinny man here, and they'll say it was them. You <laughs> captured the Kingslayer. Aye. Well, I had a hand in it. Aye. A hand round his ankle as ten others took him down. <laughs> See? What did I tell you? I brought him to his knees. Lord Forrester. But not before he dragged you halfway across the battlefield on your face. You're questioning <laughs> Norrin's honor. Oh, shit. I'm questioning Norrin's story. Grows more far fetched every time he tells it. Get your liege lord some wine. Go on. Right, right. thanks. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you, Garrett. I'll do it. Norrin's family has faithfully served House Forester for centuries. His honor is beyond reproach, and House Tully is forever in his debt. They've never seen a field plowed so well as the day the Kingslayer dragged poor Norrin across the battle. <laughs> Fetch your cup. Tonight we celebrate. <laughs> the Rob Stark, the King in the North, the, the King, King in the North! North! Tomorrow. We march on Casterly Rock, and House Forrester has been given the greatest honor to lead the Young Wolf's army and ride as the vanguard. Doesn't the vanguard Not mean up front? Onward to Casterly Rock! Aye. Death to the Lannisters! Winter is coming! Aye. Winter is coming! Aye. Let's hope it waits till this bloody war's over. Got it. Hell yeah. Yes, my lord. I need you to keep an eye out for Roderick. As his father, 
And I could not be more proud of the man he's become. On a night like this, men find false courage at the bottom of their cups. Well, I'd that. rather he were here. Yes, my lord. There's also the question of what's to be done with you. It's been on my mind for a while now. Something must be done. With me, my lord. You've served House Forrester well for several years now, but I can't expect you to squire forever. Nice. How shall I reward your loyalty? What can I offer you? You served me well. To bring honor to House Forrester, my lord. You have more honor than those who were Hell born yeah. to it. There were those who had their doubts when your uncle put forth your name as my squire. But you've erased those doubts entirely. It would be an honor to see you riding by Roderick's side in the Vanguard tomorrow. Not as a squire, but as the equal of any man who serves House Forrester. It's well deserved, Garrett. Your hard work has paid off. Thank you, my lord. I promise. I won't let you down. That I don't doubt. But for now, keep this between us. We're celebrating tonight. I wouldn't want the other squires to feel discouraged. Yes, my lord. Now go. And find Roderick if you can. Nice. I will, my lord. Thank you. The choice meter goes pretty fast. Like, oh, you don't yeah. have a lot of time. <laughs> Squire! Fetch us more wine! Can you give me a hand? Yeah. Come on. Can I get up to you? Yeah, no problem. I have been a squire longer than you. So? I outrank you. You should help me. <laughs> I said I would. Fuck off, dude. Fetch more wine, rub my armor, clean my boots. It's just my luck to end up with Norin while you serve the Lord. Let him fetch his own wine for once. He's a drunk, a liar, and an arrogant prick. <laughs> You'd better watch your tongue, Bowen. It could be much worse. What the fuck do you know about it? Nothing is worse than Norin. <laughs> See, that's why you're lucky. Low expectations. If I'd grown up covered in pig shit, shovel and slop, well, maybe I'd think saddling his horse was the greatest honor in the Seven Kingdoms. I suppose this beats pig farming. Who doesn't love bacon? <laughs> that's random. Ah, pig farmers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All funny. I'm saying is, at this rate, we'll never be more than this, which is nothing. The lowest of the low. For all I know, we could be squires for life. You gotta have dreams, buddy. Pulling wine around a fucking wedding. What a waste of fucking time. Give it time. You'll get there. Oh, easy for you to say. Maybe if my uncle were castle in a house forester, I'd feel different. Who my uncle is has nothing to do with it. How much further? <laughs> That's right over forever. there. <laughs> the twins. The red wedding. Oh shit. Take your time. It's that night. You lot have drunk your share. Good thing, Lord Walders. In a generous mood. The fuck? We need to get out of here. Phrase. Nice night for a wedding. Oh uh, shit. We got to go. Not that he finds a willing husband for one of his daughters. Got to go. Don't expect me to carry it for you, Sir Garrett. Come on, let's go. What? We, we, What's wrong? Come on. It's gonna be really bad. Get really bad really soon. Come on. Just gotten into you. You're acting rather odd. We need to get back, get back. now. Now. They're fine. Go. They can wait. No, you don't understand. We need to go. go. Just take the fucking flagon already. What's wrong cool. with him? Something the matter? Bowen, we have to go. Don't go if you're in such a rush. I gotta save him. But what about? What the hell was that about? Slow down, would you? What's the rush? They've got weapons. Who brings fucking weapons to a wedding? We need to find Roderick. He's out there by himself. Oh shit! It's already starting. <laughs> Fuck! We 
need to get back to camp. Ooh. Ooh. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> he said, ah, I'll, I'll get someone else. Whoa. The first season of Walking Dead didn't have controls like this. Oh, well, quick time events, other than the choices. Ooh. Uh -oh. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> Gotta get used to these controls. Because you have to use the right analog stick to aim that, but the other movement is with the other analog stick. Actually, I wonder if I can do both the right. I'll find out. Hopefully, I don't get shot in the face again. Shoot that one! Captain, or the Lord, Captain, whatever his name is. <laughs> Ooh. Got it. Did you find Roderick? He died on the battlefield with honor. I, I tried to save him, but there was nothing I could do. Find a weapon, quickly! I get it. Oh. Nice. Come on, stop staring at him and pick up your weapon. Oh, see? That's what you get. What a free, you fucking traitor. Go, my lord, while there's still time. Got to go. Sword? Tell it to Ironrath where it belongs. There's no time to. Alright. You don't have to tug me into it. I let it fall into the hands of those traitors. What are the phrase that you have to go? I won't leave you. I won't leave you, my lord. You can, and you will. My lord, By I... the gods, you will obey me. 
Tell your uncle. <laughs> Tell him. The North Grove must never be lost. Tell no one but him. Do you understand? You must swear. Tell only your uncle Duncan. I swear that I will, my lord. Hey, it's those foresters. Go. On oh, your honor, you must do this for your house. Go! Kill those <laughs> fucking foresters! All he has is a hatchet. You should keep going. Ooh, that's gotta hurt his hand. Ooh. I need to go. He needs to go. <laughs> I love the intro music. From ice. Is that House Forester's like motto or saying or whatever? The King's Road, Forester Lands. Camera angle, please. <laughs> Can I do anything to the pig? No? Alright. Oh, someone's house is burned down. Anything with this? No? Alright. I like that you can just click on it and he'll auto walk to it. Saves a lot of time, a lot of hassle. That's Father's car. What's my guy's name? He totally went over my head. Can you remember? Oh, better give us fucking titles for this. Better may be common, but at least still have his bacon. <laughs> Is that those three guys' laughter? Move along, boy. There's nothing for you here. <clears throat> Father, I said oh, move shit. on. Unless you want to get fed to the fucking pigs. Get to your father. I recognize you. You're a forester squire. Former Stark bannermen have no claim on land anymore. Or haven't you heard? The Starks are dead. I thought he was Where'd gonna you get that sword? run to his father, not just try to casually not walk a through them. That sword is his. Must have stolen it. Out here by himself. Probably a deserter. Ah, I, I killed a man for it. Did you? Now why don't I believe you? Because I'm a little guy? With a sword that's as tall as I am? That sword's too big for you, boy. You can barely pick it up. Get off my land! This is Bolton land now, boy. Lord Bolton is the new Warden of the North. I reckon he'd like a proper lordly sword like that. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'll have 
have that sword, boy. Of my dead body. Fuck you. Hell yeah. Someone gonna come to my rescue? Oh, pitchfork. Or an axe. You really are a pig farmer, aren't need, you? Need the distance. Nice. There for a second. We got this. Well, at least now we got a dagger that's kind of more of our size. Pick up the dagger, throw it. Whoa! It fucked up. It, it still worked. Mercy, please. I beg of you. I, I have a family. They'll never survive without me. I have no quarrel with you. I, I was only following orders. Shouldn't so have killed please. my father. Whitefield will see you hang for this. That much I promise. Kill him. Kill his horse. Stupid squire. Father? Garrett, you survived. Your sister. She hid. Damn. I tried to stop them. It's fucked up. I'm glad I killed the one guy now. I'll kill the men who did this. Yeah, well. So what, now I just, like, live here? In my hut? Or do I, like, go live with my uncle or something? Oh, that's, that's really nice. It's Garrett! Get the Castellan! Tell him his nephew survived! Oh, nice. I am seeing my uncle. Nice little villa. Carrot! I was too late. They were already dead. Bring the maester! Meet us in the Great Hall! Quickly! From running from the war, do I get exiled? Or not exiled, but like, have to go to the wall? Soldiers? And a Bolton. They killed my family. And for what? My sister, she... She was only eight years old. This never would have happened with the Starks in power. It's unimaginable. Unacceptable. You have my condolences. Thank you, Mister. Blade cut deep, but I should be able to save your leg. Your justice was swift. Some will call it vengeance. No doubt the White Hills will claim it was murder. It was your family. I can't say I would have done any different than you. They attacked me. I had no choice but to defend myself. Of course. And we can't let the White Hills just walk all over us. These maggots ought to help prevent infection. Ooh. Hold the wound open for me, would you? <laughs> I was just gonna say, what is it gonna be? A little. <laughs> so gross. These are 
dark days, I fear. To lose the lord of the house and the eldest son through such a despicable act of treachery and betrayal. Greater houses than ours have fallen in times such as this. The late Lord Forrester was a good man. And poor Roderick. A serious man, but he would have made a good lord. Roderick and Lord Forrester. We can avenge them. And attack House Frey. Now is the time to find allies, not enemies. The future of this house is in Lord Ethan's hands now. Although he is young and altogether unprepared to lead. Right. Uh... This might hurt a bit. Hold this for me, will you? <laughs> I understand from your uncle that Lord Forrester saved your life. He did. Rather odd, though, that he chose to save you, his squire, and not his son, Roderick. Not that Roderick couldn't handle himself. He was as good with a sword as any man I've seen. It's unfortunate the Citadel doesn't train maesters in the art of warcraft. That's not how it happened. Roderick had already fallen. Mm. Well, I'd imagine Lord Forrester would sacrifice himself to save anyone from his house, high or low. Lady Forrester will be here any moment now. I'd like you to walk for me first, to see if you can put any weight on that leg. <laughs> Go on. Don't stop now. It's better to let the blood circulate. Feed those maggots. Rather cute little creatures, aren't they? <laughs> I guess. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, end this video here, and we'll check out the rest of this stuff mm. you uh, seem next to be episode. It. Always <laughs> sad to see a warrior lose a leg. I, I'm fine, Master Tengren. Look, I'll show you. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, I'll see you next time. Uh, next video and all that stuff will be in the description. Let me know what you think. Young Obi, signing out.